wish I wish I was a uh, time traveler and I could go back 50 years ago today, just north of the boathouse up to Art Hill on April 11, 1973. A rare Picasso painting disappeared without a trace from the St. Louis Art Museum in Forest Park. And today that painting would be worth millions of dollars. It is a case that has fascinated Carol Baker and she is joining me right now. That is why she wrote this new book, Chasing Picasso. Carol, thanks so much for coming in and sharing this. Oh, well, thanks for having me. Not many people know this story. It's like the most famous, not known story out there. I know, right? And St. Louis history has a lot of things like that. And this is one that piqued my interest. And that's why I wrote about it. And I think that because when it was stolen, there was a period in time where there wasn't a lot of communications out there. Um, there wasn't an art theft database. There wasn't a team to investigate. No these types cameras of thefts. in the art museum. It was much smaller back then. That's right. So it's possible that maybe this painting still exists, and just telling the story, we can find it. So this was uh, painted by Pablo Picasso when he was in his 20s. It was before his Cubism period. That's right. So he wasn't very well known, and I think most people would identify with his Cubism period. Um, but the painting itself is more of an impressionist painting. And so, you know, what's kind of fun about the painting, um, back in his 20s, he wasn't well known. So this is when he was struggling yeah. as an artist. And you can see that in the painting, even him working out the type of art. In the book you get into, it was purchased by the St. Louis Art Museum in 1934, mm -hmm. and there it remained. On April 8th of 1973, Picasso died. Three days later, somebody walks in, picks it off the wall, puts it under their coat, and just walks out of the art museum. Yes, I mean, that's assumed how we think it we happened. We think it happened. We, we don't know, and there's no uh, investigative files to go back into and uh, look for the painting or look to see what happened. So that's what really, be, and within about a 45-minute window, that disappeared between 4 and 4.45 that afternoon. And because this hasn't really been talked about, it's your hope that perhaps this painting is still in St. Louis under some staircase somewhere. Maybe somebody recognizes it. Maybe it belonged to a relative who died and you inherited it. Uh, what yeah. should they do if they have this painting? Well, if I found this painting in my house, I would call a lawyer. Yeah, instantly. <laughs> I mean, I, I think that would be the best advice is to figure out what to do next. Um, but we know that because uh, paintings are considered titled, it would always be the property of the St. Louis Art Museum. Even though they were reimbursed with insurance and everything yes, else? Yes, so technically the insurance company probably would be the title holder, but in most cases uh, they sell that back to the museum for whatever they reimbursed them for. Carol Baker wrote this. It's called Chasing Picasso, the true story of a daytime heist on Art Hill. Read this cover to cover. I mean, it's, it's a good read. And you get into other art thefts around the world as well as at the art museum. It's a good read. And, and perhaps somebody out there can solve this missing Picasso. Carol, thanks Lovely. so much for oh, coming Oh, thank in. you for having me. By the way, uh, you have a uh, uh, book signing coming up on Saturday yes. in St. Charles. It's at the Picasso Cafe. Picasso's Coffee House on Main Street. Okay. And I'll be there from 1 to 3 p.m. And if you want to buy a book, I'll have some. If you have a book, then I will bring it and I'll sign it. Excellent. Thank you so much for coming okay. in and sharing this story again. We're going to take a little break. We'll be back with more Fox 2 News in the morning right after this. I see a red door and I want it painted black. No colors anymore.